everything is struggling and we are 20 years on and you can't say it's in the past because it's not, because it's impacting on the future. The privatisation side of it absolutely decimates the community. Before privatisation, Victoria had the lowest electricity tariffs in the world. We were promised um, lots of help and relocation of industry and it really didn't happen. The Gippsland region went from the highest employment area to the highest unemployment area in the state. The whole area just fell in a hole. The SEC workers, uh, their jobs were guaranteed with the new contractors, but that only lasted three years. That was when the real effects started to hit. After I took the package, there was about 10 years, there was virtually no work around the joint. I remember going to um, a meeting, I just remember two um, UK fellas, that, older fellas that got up and just spoke about their experiences in the UK, probably under Thatcher, and that it did privatisation didn't work. And I remember they, they were more or less laughed off, you know, because people were saying, well, that's not what we've been promised. That'll never happen to us. And lo and behold, it did. So, yeah. I think all was, they were concerned about was some money, not about the people, not at all about the people. So the consumer is, investing a lot of time and energy in identifying which contract might suit them, but in reality it doesn't really matter because the contract terms are changed um, at any rate after they've signed. The, uh, uh, the friendliness, the good custom relations that the old SEC had have disappeared. So one term government gets the benefit of the privatisation. From that point onwards, the higher cost inflation and the higher profit going offshore, never ever sees the light of day in your state again. The majority of Victoria's electricity network assets are now owned by the Singapore government and the Chinese government. It's clearly about profit margins, isn't it, really? And um, you know, you have to ask at whose expense? Because it's coming at the community's expense where the private companies are increasing their profit through not ma maintaining as they should. But it's the community that has to pick up the shortfall. The firefighters are now being responded to calls that they don't normally would go to. Five out of 11 fires on Black Saturday were caused by electrical faults. Victoria's got this horrible proposition facing us in 2016, and that is a huge age profile bubble. The younger members coming through and the older workers at the other end, in the, in the middle is this massive hole. So they're going to end up flying four, five, seven visas in from Germany to do the uh, turbine shows. The skill factor's gone. The real tragedy of the situation that we have in Victoria is that so much money is being made um, by the private owners. Very little of it is being reinvested back into Victoria. And all that money they made, it's all going overseas. Does the country no good? As the most recent report by um, Professor John Quiggan pointed out there's been no net benefit to Victoria from the privatisation. Don't privatise. Don't privatise it.